Okay, so I am a big believer in the little things go such a long way. Especially in men's fashion and in your outfits in general, the little details can make such a big difference. And if you're wondering exactly which details I'm talking about, today I'm going to be going over exactly that. The little things in men's fashion, they go such a long way. Seven things that you could use every single day so that way you could look better. Alright, the first thing is going to be some sort of lip balm or Vaseline or whatever you like to use. I'm personally just not a big fan of chopstick. Burt's Bees, Carmax, any of those things I'm not a big fan of. The main ones that I'd be using would be something like Vaseline. T. Shanley also just started making some lip balm, which I've been a big fan of. Anything like that, it makes such a big difference. Now, of course, it's not really in your outfits, but more of your appearance in general. When you have soft lips, they're just really pleasant to look at. If you have really chapped lips, one, they're just extremely uncomfortable, and two, they're just not that good to look at. So this definitely does make a big difference in my opinion, and that's exactly why I always carry one with me, and I use it every single day. All right, the second thing that I use every single day is gonna be something more that I wear and that is going to be the color black now I always try to keep at least one thing black in my outfits and that is because black literally goes with anything it can also make you appear a bit slimmer so whether it be black pants a black shirt a black jacket even black shoes counts anything the color black I think your outfits looks good in my opinion and also beside the fact from black is literally the easiest color to style because there's really not a color that doesn't go with black that's why I always try to keep something black in my outfits now of course it can get a little bit boring so I do end up switching it up but I would say eight out of ten times something in my outfit's gonna be black. All right, the third thing that I use every single day is going to be hair products. Now, you probably know where I'm going with this because today's video sponsor is gonna be Bloomon. The reason why I say that is because I personally love Bloomon products. If you've been a follower of my channel, you would know this. I work with them quite often and I'm very happy about that because I really stand by these hair products. They're some of the best hair products I've ever used. Right now, I'm pretty much just gonna be showing you exactly how I style my hair with certain Bloomon products that work best with my hair type and my haircut. Okay, so obviously just in general, my hairstyle isn't hard at all my hair is actually damp right now which is honestly in my opinion the best to have it when you're first doing your hairstyle so it's damp it's a little bit wet not too bad as you can tell my hair naturally falls into the place where I kind of want it to be so we're not gonna be using hair products with high hold because my hair naturally falls where it needs to be so so instead we're gonna be using something with a little bit lower hold but it's still gonna give us that texture that we want and the perfect product for that is going to be hybrid by bloom on this is gonna be my favorite one in my opinion it just works best for the hairstyle that I go for this is gonna be a light medium wash with a matte finish so it leaves my hair perfectly how I want it. But before we do that, one thing that I use on my hair is going to be Bloom on Cloud Control. Basically what this does, it kind of controls the frizz. It also nourishes my hair so it makes it more softer. Obviously you can't have a nice hairstyle if your hair is not healthy. And any Bloom on product does a really good job of nourishing your hair. But this one is going to be my favorite one for that. So just a little bit into my hand, rub it into your hands and then start applying it to your hair fast it's easy we can get that out the way the next thing that we're gonna be using is going to be that hybrid clay that I mentioned earlier again not too much because this hairstyle doesn't require a lot of hair products to hold again we're mostly using this for texture so we typically just don't need that much and then again we just rub it into our hands and then apply it to our hair when I apply any type of hair clay into my hair I try to get it deep into the roots and again very fast very simple we can put it off to the side all right from here like I said, my hair is damp, it's not dry. I personally don't use a blow dryer, but one thing that I do instead is I let my hair dry naturally. So this is where I'll do anything that I need to do myself. And in about 20, 30 minutes when my hair is fully dry, that's where the hairstyle looks best in my opinion. So again, this is how it looked when we first started and now this is the final product. Again, not much of a difference, but we went for that extra texture and most importantly, keeping our hair healthy, which all the Bloom On products do. So if you wanna pick up the same products that I use, make sure to check out Bloom On, the link's gonna be in the description and make sure to use code Aaron for 10% off. All right, the next thing is gonna be jewelry. Now, I always try to wear jewelry in my outfits. I think it just looks the absolute best. It can turn a simple, boring outfit into a much better, more well put together outfit in my opinion. Now, I personally only have a few little rule of thumbs when it comes to jewelry. I know some people like to overcomplicate it. I personally don't like anything complicated in my life. So when it comes to jewelry, as long as I'm sticking with the same materials, I think that looks the best. Layering also makes it look a lot better. So layering and keeping the same colors in your jewelry. So pretty much what I mean by that is if I have gold chains, I'm not gonna be wearing a silver bracelet. I wanna wear something else that's gold, so that way everything's a bit more put together. All right, the next thing is going to be a pair of sunglasses. Now, especially right now that it's the spring and summertime, which one I'm really excited about because this is my favorite season, it can get a little bright outside. And obviously, I don't wanna spend the entire day squinting, ruining my eyes from the sun, and also developing wrinkle marks next to your eyes from all the squinting. Those three annoying problems can be easily solved with a pair of sunglasses. So that's exactly why I always try to carry one with me, whether it be inside my car, in my backpack, literally wherever, I always try to keep a pair of sunglasses on me. And the main reason why I would say that this makes you look better is if you're struggling with like bags under your eyes or your eyes are red, a pair of sunglasses is going to fix exactly that now. 
The reason for that is because when you put them on, especially these, these are so huge on my face. They cover pretty much like 30% of your face. So it is something really nice to carry. My favorite brands are going to be Ray-Bans, but pretty much as long as you have any pair of sunglasses, I think they'll do exactly that. All right, the next thing is something that I do wear every single day. However, it won't make you look better, but it'll definitely make you feel better. And that is going to be some cologne. Now, cologne is something that I recently got really big into. Ever since I got into cologne, I have been buying some non-stop so my cologne collection has grown significantly i remember i used to get comments you know try why so why try this try that and i never did because i was never really that big into colognes pretty much what i'm saying is those of you who commented that a few months back i kind of blame you guys for the addiction i have for colognes but Nonetheless, it is really good. One cologne that I really recommend that you start off with would be Prada Carbon. This one you could wear to pretty much anything. I would say my main favorite one though would probably be Blue de Chanel. If you want an underrated one, Dolce & Gabbana K is going to be a really good one as well. The three that I named are also going to be really good for the spring in my opinion. So definitely recommend picking up one of those. All right, the next thing is going to be an electric razor. And the reason why I say that is because in my opinion, facial hair that should not be there can really ruin your appearance, especially if you're on the younger side and you want to grow out your beard or mustache but it really doesn't look that good when you try definitely shave that off in my opinion that little peach fuzz that you have on top of your lip or even on the sides or whatever if it looks like it's not supposed to be there then you should probably get rid of it if it is fully grown out though that's a different story if it's nice and thick but but i'm pretty sure you know exactly what i'm talking about when i say that hair that should not be there shave it off but that's pretty much it for today's video so i did hope this helped you out and if you did make sure to leave a like i'd really appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed already in this channel i simplify men's fashion so i'll leave a button for you to do that right here and if you want to see more videos right away there are a few that i think could really help you out but anyways other than that i hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one. later